real-life hero. Oh, you know? oh, thank you. I've interviewed the Avengers and <laughs> X-Men. <laughs> but, I mean, what you do is, uh -huh. uh, is really admirable. Thank I you. I have to say that. I appreciate that. I, I noticed you, that there was some hesitance to get it, having the book adapted mm -hmm. to a screenplay. Mm -hmm. Like, what, what was your... Yeah, I mean, I just think, you know, often when we try to tell these kinds of stories, there are... Um, adjustments that Hollywood makes to make it more palatable, to make it easier, to make it more comfortable. And I was worried about holding on to the integrity of, of the story. I mean, I represent people who had been um, accused and condemned and, and, and disfavored and excluded. And I didn't want people to, to misperceive the, the weight of that. Uh, but working with Michael B, who came in and is not only an extraordinarily talented actor, he's also deeply committed to these issues. And that gave me some confidence. And then Destin was equally aligned and committed to doing this in the right way. And they made me believe that we could do this. Yeah. And I was so proud when I saw the film. You know, they made the, the, the hard choices, you know, the truthful choices. They didn't make the easy and comfortable choices. Yeah. And uh, that made me feel good about this process. But it also makes me excited to share the film with the world. There are a lot of people who won't read a book that will see a movie. Yeah. And I hope people who see the movie will be motivated to read the book. And it's how we reach people. It's how we get people to think more critically about these issues. You was able to turn uh, overturn Walter's case. And, and I know EGI, EJI has maybe overturned 100. Yeah. Uh, but I'm sure there's been a lot of ones that you weren't able yeah. to do. And I, I, and, I, and I wonder if the film could go further. Like yeah. with, with some of those stories yeah. being just as impactful as to who you are today? Absolutely, absolutely. And one of the things, the reason why I hope people will go out and see this film is I want it to be successful because there are more stories to tell. I want Hollywood to, to do more films like this that get at the day-to-day -day reality of what it's like to live in a nation where you're treated better if you're rich and guilty than if you're poor and innocent, to live in a space where there are these presumptions of dangerousness and guilt that get assigned to black and brown people. We have so much work to do in this country uh, to get to the kind of justice that we deserve. And I think narrative and, and creative projects have a critical role to play in that effort. So I'm hoping that the film is successful enough that there are more movies to tell those other stories. You the lawyer? Yes, ma'am. My name is Brian Stevenson. I'm Johnny D's wife, Minnie. Pleasure to meet you. <laughs> mm. Thank you so much for driving all the way out here. Most lawyers barely make time to call. Hmm. Uh, this is our youngest son, John, a baby girl, Jackie. I hope you don't mind a few of our neighbors stop by to hear what you got to say. Oh. Just a few. <laughs> Come on, you'll be all right. There's a line in the film where um, Walter says that, you know, you went and spoke to all of my family and mm. everything else, and it, and it means a lot to me. Mm. And uh, your character played by Michael B says it, it meant, meant a lot to me also. Mm. What What's the significance of having the family support yeah. as to the ones that get overturned as opposed to there's some people that's been abandoned or, or don't have family. Yeah. Are those harder to... Yeah. Uh, I, I think it's one of those things that we haven't really uh, you know, dealt with. When you put an innocent person on death row, you're not just condemning that person. You condemn their family. You condemn their community. There are 132 million people in this country that have loved ones in jails or prisons who have had that experience. And it's a, it's a burden. It's a struggle. It's a strain. And so I never felt like I was just representing one person. I felt like I was representing an entire community, which can be overwhelming and intimidating, but it can also be inspiring and affirming. And I hope people see that, that, that you know, these cases uh, don't just affect individuals, they affect entire families and communities. And, and uh, I, you know, we screened it for the family of, of Mr. McMillan. It was so wonderful to have them finally see what they went through acknowledged yeah. in this way, and that's what excites me, too. And lastly, I have to ask, because you were going around Alabama yeah. in, in a time when it was 
more scary than it yeah. can be today. Yeah. Um, how much was the Harvard education, Just not not just the knowledge that you have, but just being able to say that you was from Harvard? Because yeah. I went to Vanderbilt. I've yeah. been in a sure. similar situation. Yeah. You say that, it yeah, might yeah. treat you differently. Like, yeah, how much yeah. was that? You know, it's interesting. Um, I, I, you know, I never really talked about it. I, I think, um, it, you know, because of what I was doing and, and for, who, for who I was doing it, it just made it hard for people to kind of get past, you know, that kind of, that resistance, that hostility. But, uh, you know, more than my time at Harvard, uh, my time with, you know, a mother who endured the humiliation and degradation of Jim Crow segregation, a grandmother who survived that terror lynching uh, era, um, they are the ones that taught me, you know, to keep fighting, you know, to keep my eyes on the prize. And that's what allowed me to navigate those spaces and what I would offer to people coming up today. You can't create justice with just the ideas in your mind. That stuff has got to be fueled by conviction in your heart. And taking care of what's in your heart is the thing that I think ultimately allows us to do the things that we need to do to create a just society. It's an honor, man. All right, yeah. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. I appreciate you. Yeah.